What's going on guys? I got kind of a rare opportunity here I want to make a video of. Uh, I got a genuine Honda unit here with of course the genuine Honda engine and I want to show it, uh, compare it to Predator engine which a lot of people are putting in uh, snowblowers these days. Real popular swap, great bang for the buck, 100 bucks, you can't really beat it. Um, but I'm just going to show three models here and basically compare do a comparison between the three. So you got your genuine Honda engine right over here. You got kind of a hybrid built Honda slash Predator engine. And then you got a box stock bone right out of the box uh, Predator 212 motor. So the real difference between all three of these is just kind of the fit and finish. When it, when it comes down to the bare block, I mean, the Predator versus the actual genuine Honda motor is really not that much different. They actually make these Predators very, very well. And if you go and compare on a lot of like, uh, you know, kind of go-kart forms, they talk about that, how the, the actual Predator block assembly is actually a very well-made piece. Um, but th there are some improvements in the snow blower category they'll talk about, and a lot of it is mainly like the intake system and the shielding that comes on these motors. Um, basically, the Predators kind of have a problem with dealing with blocking the snow. A lot of, a lot of people um, will report issues with the throttle linkages sticking. Um, it, as you can see, these linkages are kind of exposed and can easily get iced up. Um, so if we're going to look at this Honda here. You can see just kind of how weatherproofed this motor is. <clears throat> around the engine, there's plenty of shielding. Especially around the carburetor here. The throttle's all completely covered. If you look at the recoil, the recoil's a little bit different designed. There's only a small intake uh, small intake on the bottom there. The handle's faced up like this, so it's easier to pull. You have uh, throttle and choke control up here on the dash, as well as the key. <clears throat> and really, I mean, that's, that is about it. I mean, gas tank setup's a little bit different. The Predator's got the vented top. I don't think, I don't think these ones have the low pressure oil sensor on them. It's got a little bit uh, more of a standoff uh, fill tube. <clears throat> this one um, is kind of a hybrid. I've added some Honda parts on it. I actually have a genuine Honda intake and the genuine Honda, uh, what do you call it? A throttle, basically like throttle cover. And that right there helps a lot with uh, blocking the, uh, the light snow from getting into the throttle assembly. This one, I've also added a remote kill switch. And I've hooked in the factory throttle. So you do have throttle control up here. Um, one thing I am, I am looking into putting one of these recoils on the Predator. Just because, I mean, see the amount of venting that these have? You actually want to keep some heat into the motor. You you don't want to blow it all out to the atmosphere. Um, look at the the bone stock predator here. I mean, you can see everything's open. And these airbox assemblies really aren't the best for for snow usage, in my opinion. Anyways, I really like just that airbox alone makes a huge difference. So, um, really, as far as that, you know. As far as the power and everything else, they're pretty much they're pretty much identical. Um, this one is actually just a hair quieter. I think it has like a little bit of a different tone. Um, I'll do a quick start up here. You can see Get on here. Maybe, maybe not. Let you guys decide. This one, of course, I got to come around to the side. Yeah, it's definitely a little louder. Other than that.
So, I mean, as you can see, guys, they call these things, they call these things clones for a reason. I mean, they are a clone of a Honda engine. So, just want you guys to realize what you're uh, kind of getting into when you do when you're doing a Predator swap. Again, I highly endorse these. I love doing them, but they do have their downfalls. And what I've uh, shown you is where they, uh, what the downfalls are. So, hope you guys enjoy.